When it comes to photos, I say it's all about the sharing. But phone apps are not always an easy way to share your photos with the whole family. Enter SmugMug. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. The likes of Apple, Google, and Amazon Photos are not always that easy for you to be able to share your photos. They all need some work for you to be able to share them with your family. But also, do you really want that as your photo legacy? Do you really want your family to have all of those till receipts and screenshots as part of your legacy? Enter SmugMug. What is SmugMug? SmugMug is an unlimited photo storage website that was mostly set up to support photographers so they could share and sell their portfolios with clients. It's a paidable service that gives you different levels of functionality depending on what level you choose, but it also allows you to create a simple personalized website where you can view your photo collection and most importantly, share your photos. Why do you need it? The reason I love SmugMug as your photo legacy is because you can easily control who has access to it and you don't need to be a web design genius to make it look amazing. It retains the quality of your photos because it's all about the photographers and keeps all that metadata in the background that you have spent time working on. But beyond sharing, it makes a great cloud backup for your photos as not only can you manually load photos to the site, there is a mobile phone app that will automatically back up your photos to your account. However, since your photos are being stored on their database, you are at the mercy if they make changes to their offering. However, with my organization hat on, it totally keeps the folder structure you have set up. Bliss. How to use it, the basics. Obviously, the first thing is to create an account and buy your plan. The plan that I recommend is the power plan because it has all the features that you will need, unlimited full resolution storage with privacy controls, and you can customize your website and get your very own personalized domain name. So here is a little tour of how I use it. When you log in, you first get to the library area. Here you can see your recently added photos and do a bit of searching on your photo collection by title or caption or keyword. But to be honest, I don't really use this area a lot. The next area is the organize area, which is where the work is. To load up your photos in their folders, just select the upload button and upload folders and drag and drop the folders of your photos into the pop-up and they will load up in the folders into your account. The organize area works a little bit like Finder or Explore. So you can just go down and drill down into the folders and find all of your photos in the folders that you've loaded them up in. Now, it's worth understanding a bit of smug mug terminology here that is useful to know. A gallery is where all of your photos live in SmugMug. Above that are your folders. It's worth noting that the folder structure cannot exceed six levels and the last level can only contain images and video files. So it has to be a gallery. So don't go wild with the foldering. In the organize area, you can also change the settings for how things will appear on your site how the photos will appear as a landscape, whether they're sorted by file name, that type of thing, and the information that stays there. Then we get to the site, which is what SmugMug is all about. You can pick one of their already developed templates to go for, or you can go off on your own and start from scratch like I have done. To customize the site, it is pretty easy. You just go into customize design, you pick an element and you just drag and drop it onto the site. You can add things at the entire site level, the homepage level, the folders or gallery level. But remember what I said about 
folders and galleries. You can add all sorts of design elements like you can add single photos, you can add some text, you can add navigation, you can do menus, breadcrumbs, you can do what you like, you just drag and drop it. That simple. You can also play around with what the galleries look like, add some cover pages, change the layout, but you need to do that back in the organized settings. Okay, so it's not as flexible as if you did a Squarespace site, but who has time for that? And remember, you can password control everything that goes on. So how beautiful is this? Added extras. When it comes to extras, I've already mentioned one of my favorites, the auto upload from your phone to your account. And the best bit is it keeps those photos tucked away in a private folder so it doesn't ruin your beautiful website. Also, did I mention that you can control access by putting on a password? I think I might have, but it is worth mentioning again. You can control it at the total site or the folder level. The choice is yours. And the control can go even further. You can control if people can download your photos as well, so you know where all of your photos are going. And to make it easier to load your photos, there are desktop apps for both PC and Mac, so you don't have to log into a web browser every time you want to load photos. And finally, if all of that wasn't enough, you can link Adobe Lightroom to SmugMug. So if you make changes on the catalog on either side, with a bit of clever linking, it will update on both sides, if you're into that level of sorting. Some drawbacks. Sadly, nothing is perfect or works for everything. So there are a few niggles when it comes to SmugMug. For videos, as it was set up for photos in mind, they are limited to 20 minutes. There's also no fancy AI for facial recognition or making your photos searchable by random things that are in them. Your photos are only searchable by the stuff that you have put in the names or any work you have done in the metadata at the back. So not great for all those who love the extra features from your photo apps. But I still love SmugMug for your family archive, so check it out. So there you have it, SmugMug, the perfect solution to your family legacy, but not forgetting the extra bonus of a cloud backup for all of your photos. What do you use for your family archive? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing all your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.